likes for this videos. If we get more than 2000 likes at this videos we will upload more patriotic news. Busted Michelle Obama caught with her hands in the mud, now being sued for fraud. We all know that Michelle Obama was spending a lot of money at the time when she was FLOTUS. That is why Judicial Watch decided to initiate a lawsuit against Michelle. They demanded Air Force One records that will provide all necessary information about her massive vacation to Spain. The goal is to prove that Michelle's trip to Spain was purely on a personal basis. If Judicial Watch is right, then Michelle is off to spend some time in prison. The total amount of dollars is $4,288,430 which is way more than what Obama made during his position as a president. Let's say Michelle paid with her own money but where did they come from? What do you think of this? Share your opinion. CIA official leaks Obama's plans to destroy America, proves Trump was right all along. I don't like Obama as much as the next conservative, but this woman is convinced he is trying to take down America as we know it. Former CIA employee, Claire M. Lopez, was not just a pencil pusher with a desk job for our government. She was the vice president for research and analysis at the Center for Security Policy and a senior fellow at the Clarion Project, the London Center for Policy Research, and the Canadian Mean Institute. That's quite a resume. So when you read what she said, this can't possibly be coming from a place of craziness. It's pretty legitimate. The Conservative Post reports, since 2013, she has served as a member of the Citizens Commission on Benghazi. Also Vice President of the Intelligence Summit, she formerly was a career operations officer with the Central Intelligence Agency, a professor at the Center for Counterintelligence and Security Studies. Executive Director of the Iran Policy Committee from 2005 to 2006, and has served as a consultant, intelligence analyst, and researcher for a variety of defense firms. She was named a Lincoln Fellow at the Claremont Institute in 2011. Lopez said the global war on terror had been an effort to stay free of Shria, or repressive Islamic law, until the Obama administration began siding with such jihadist groups as the Muslim Brotherhood and its affiliates. Lopez believes that the Muslim Brotherhood has thoroughly infiltrated the Obama administration and other branches of the federal government. One of the most outrageous of those appointments is Mohammed al a senior member of the Department of Homeland Security Advisory Council. According to a report by the Center for Security Policy, Alibiri supports brokering a U.S. partnership with the Muslim Brotherhood terrorist group. Two months ago, a firestorm erupted online after Alibiri tweeted that a caliphate is inevitable and compared it to the European Union. Claire went into full detail, on video. It's absolutely chilling, that's all I needed to hear. Here's a more recent video in which she talks about cyber terrorism and why Trump is absolutely right. Shocking famous feminist, we have to create youth in Asia vans and go door to door to get rid of the old people. Katie Hopkins, leftist British TV person was once on Trump's The Apprentice. Lately, she stated that the elders have to be euthanized, for they are a huge burden to society. She considered everything. She stated that we have to make youth in Asia vans which would go from house to house and take old people. She stated, we just have far too many old people. It's ridiculous to be living in a country where we can put dogs to sleep but not people. Euthanasia vans, just like ice cream vans, that would come to you home. It would all be perfectly charming. They might even have a nice little tune they'd play. I mean this genuinely. I'm super keen on euthanasia vans. We need to accept that just because medial advances mean we can live longer, it's not necessarily the right thing to do. She also said that people suffering from dementia need to be euthanized because she thinks they only occupy space in hospitals. She stated that their lives have no meaning anymore, due to their condition. Apparently, the reports say that this is not the only case which shows behavior like this from Hopkins. Earlier, she tweeted about people with dementia, Babe I'm here again, I'm here again, where have you been? Babe I'm back again. I'm back again where have you been? Take that dementia style. 
she shouldn't be even joking about serious stuff like these because one day soon enough, she herself will be an elderly woman with the possibility of having dementia. We would be happy to hear your thoughts and predictions. Trump releases a bone-chilling statement and the media is going crazy. Unfortunately, the Democrats succeeded at sabotaging President Donald Trump's repeal of Obamacare. Trump instantly sent a sharp message that touched the whole country. This nation had the chance to secure a good future for the next generations and fixing one of the biggest issues in our country the health care system. America had the chance for a new beginning. Donald Trump did nothing wrong with his bill. He was asking for a debate and constructive solution. The representatives and senators, under the influence of the liberal elites and the huge pharmaceutical corporations, made it clear since the beginning no discussion Obamacare stays. And now, this is what President Trump says, why? Because nobody cares about we, the people. With this new bill, the giant corporations would have lost billions of dollars. What do you think about this, dear readers? I would like to ask you just one simple question, have you ever seen the healthcare systems in rest of the world? What do you think of this? Share your opinion. George W. Bush breaks silence, makes stunning confession about President Trump. President Trump and his administration had a tough time ever since they stepped into the Oval Office. A lot of obstacles and hate were on Trump's path and are still there. The Trump administration has not had it easy since taking office. They have been met with severe hate everywhere they turn and it is starting to take a toll on how effective they can be for the American people. Now, it is not the time to panic as these liberals cannot keep it up for too much longer. They are simply running out of things to lie about and it shows. The media has also been very hard on Trump. They have been trying to push big lies that could get President Donald Trump into some big legal trouble. Luckily the American people are smarter than to listen to what the mainstream media tells them. But now someone else has come out talking about the administration. George Bush has entered the room, ladies, and gentlemen. He went on to talk about the media's treatment of Trump. When I was president, you, the major networks, mattered a lot more, Bush said with a smile because there were, like, three of you. And now there are all kinds of information being bombarded out. People can say things anonymously, and it is just a different world. He shied away from going too far in either direction, but it seems pretty obvious that he does not like the way they have been treating Trump. For a man that has stayed largely silent on politics since leaving office, he sure did come back with a booming entrance. He recently went on the same liberal media that has been attacking President Trump to talk to Matt Lauer of NBC. What do you think of this? Share your opinion. IT's getting personal right after Trump warned him Robert Mueller crossed the line doing something unbelievable. If you want to describe Robert Mueller's actions, to say that he overdoes things will be far from enough. But, the latest attack on Donald Trump is simply more than absurd. This May, Mueller was chosen, as special counsel, to lead an investigation into apparent connections between Trump and Russia. Apparently, the absence of any strong and real proof made Mueller go against Trump personally. Our president sent him a clear and concise message. Nevertheless, Mueller decided to spread the investigation and go into transactions of Trump's enterprises and of his allies. Now, officials will investigate different real estate past transactions of Donald Trump, and also past business ties. But the personal nature of those new inquiries was not lost on President Trump. I think that's a violation. Look, this is about Russia, President Trump said when asked whether Mueller has crossed the red line by broadening the investigation to include his companies. And he couldn't be more right. Mueller thinks he can win by fighting dirty but we all saw how that worked out for crooked Hillary. If the special counsel plans to continue such a disgusting witch hunt, there is no reason why President Trump shouldn't fight back. We would be happy to hear your thoughts and predictions.